Hello, welcome to Reso Coder. In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to create a simple Android app in Kotlin without writing a single line of XML. We are gonna use an awesome library called Anko. By the end of this tutorial, you will create this kind of app. It has an edit text on which you can write, then it has an image view, and when it's clicked, it's going to change the color and show toast button. It's gonna show a toast and the text is pulled from this edit text up here. And show snack bar does the same, but it shows snack bar and not a toast. So let's create a new Android project and go tutorial and make sure that you have Kotlin support included. And let's start out with an empty activity. And we don't want to generate a layout file, so tick that off and finish. As the first thing, we want to open up build.gradle file for the whole project. And under Kotlin version, we want to write ext enco version equals 0.10.4. This is as of recording this tutorial, in the future it might change. If you want to get the code from this tutorial, click on the link in the video description, which is going to take you to resocoder.com. And there is also a link to this library's GitHub repository, where you can get up-to-date versions. Alright, now let's open up build.gradle for the module app. And first we want to enable coroutines, so let's write Kotlin, experimental. Because as of recording this tutorial, coroutines are still experimental in Kotlin. So let's set coroutines to be enabled. And now let's scroll down. And I am gonna paste a bunch of things under dependencies. Again, you can get the code from the link in the description. And I have an error here, you might not have it, but if you have something like this, just scroll a bit up. And let's change compile SDK version to be 27, because we are using 27 support library. And also target SDK version will be 27. And now when we click on sync now in the corner, and wait for the build to finish, we should be almost good to go after we change this support library to be also 27. And again, you might not have the same exact problems as I have. Alright, now let's get to the main activity class. And we could theoretically start writing the UI right here. So for example, frame layout, and as you can see, we can certainly do it. But it's a good practice to have separate UI classes and just activity classes. So let's delete all of this, and let's create a new class. So new, Kotlin file or class, main activity UI. It's gonna inherit an interface anchor component, and its generic parameter will be main activity. And let's implement all members, so alt enter, and OK. And we want to write with, and the receiver is UI, which is passed into this function create view as an argument. And now we can start writing frame layout and continue from here. And now just a quick reminder, every time that we write inside a with, with its receiver set to UI, it's as if we always wrote UI dot, for example, frame layout. That's because this with block has an implicit parameter this, which is the UI. So we already have a frame layout, let's create an edit text. And since we want to keep a reference to it, we are going to create a val text field. And this is going to be equal to a new edit text. And as you can see, this block of code has a parameter this. So we don't always need to write this, just like in a normal class. And we want to set hint of this edit text to be text for toast and snack bars. And now it's not a bad idea to set the layout parameters of this edit text. We can do this by calling lparams on this edit text. So lparams. And right inside parentheses we can specify width and height. If you don't specify anything, the default width and height is wrap content. But this time we want the width of this edit text to be match parent. So width equals match parent. And then for the rest of layout parameters. And layout parameters are simply those parameters which you would prefix with layout and underscore in XML. So layout width, layout height, layout margin and so on. And we want to set margin to be equal to 12 dp, so dip 12. And then top margin will have its special value and there will be 30 dp. And now it wouldn't be bad if we could preview this layout. I have this plugin already installed so I can show you how it looks. But before we can preview it, we need to build the app. And this is how it looks. If you want to install this Anko layout preview plugin yourself, you need to go to File, Settings, Plugins, and then click Install JetBrains plugin, and search for simply Anko, 
and there you have Anko support and just install it. Then if you want this Anko layout preview to show up on the sidebar, go to view, tool windows and Anko layout preview. Alright, once we have that, let's create an image view. And right inside these parentheses, we should pass in an image resource. So let's open up res, drawable and right click. We want to create a new vector asset and we want to have this Android. So just click next and finish. And in these parentheses, let's write R dot drawable dot IC Android Black 24 DP. And we want to set an onclick listener for this image view. But we aren't going to write set onclick listener like this, but we will rather write only onclick. And all the code inside onclick is actually a coroutine. As we can see here, the function onclick has a this parameter, which is actually a coroutine scope. We don't need to worry about that for now, but it's pretty cool. Now when we click on this image view, we want to change its color. So this at image view dot image tint list is equal to color state list dot value off. And we want to pass a color int in here. So color dot parse color from a color string, which is this nice green material color. But we have a problem. This call requires API level 21 and the current minimum is 19. So we need to write if build.version.sdk int is greater or equal to build.versioncodes.lollipop we want to change the image tint list. So this basically means that on KitKat when the image is clicked nothing is gonna happen. And then the layout parameters of this image view will be that width and height will be 72 dp. So dip 72 and then again dip 72 and then layout gravity will be equal to gravity center. Alright, and let's preview it again. And this is how it looks. Now there are only two things left, the buttons. We want to put them inside a linear layout. But first let's set layout parameters for this linear layout. And those will be layout gravity. And this time it's going to be equal to gravity bottom or gravity center horizontal. And then layout bottom margin will be equal to 72 dp. Alright, and now inside this linear layout we want to have a button with text show toast and the onclick listener for this button will show a toast. So we should write toast dot make text and pass in a context and do all of that crazy stuff, right? Well, actually we don't need to do this. We can utilize the power of Anko and Kotlin and simply write toast and we want to get the text from our edit text, so text field, because text field is the name of our immutable variable. And we want to get text field dot text. And that's it. Now let's copy this button, paste it below. This one will say show snack bar. And inside on click, we are going to again use anchor and just write long snack bar. The view to which we should anchor it is the root frame layout. So let's write this add frame layout and then the message will be text field dot text but this time we need to call to string on this text because while toast accepts a car sequence message can be a car sequence the long snack bars message must be a string so that's why we need to do this and now the last thing that we need to do is to go to the main activity and inside on create right main activity ui and we want to instantiate it and then set content view of this main activity. And now let's test this app inside an emulator. And here we are inside Anko tutorial app. And let's write hello. Now let's show toast. Hello, show snack bar. Hello. And when we click on this image view, it's going to change the color. Alright, so that's it for this tutorial. We really just scratched the surface of Anko, but if this tutorial helped you to understand Anko even just a little bit, give this video a like and also share it. If you wanna get the code from this tutorial, click on the link in the video description, which is gonna take you to resocoder.com. If you don't wanna miss more tutorials like this, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell button so that you aren't gonna miss any of my new tutorials. If you have any suggestions or questions, leave them in the comments, follow me on social media and see you in the next video.